Hello and welcome. This is Nelly and I'm going to check device settings as I always do. And I thought I'd wear my hat just to see what I look like on WizIQ. Of course, WizIQ, I'm testing the microphone here. You can see it's going well. And the speaker. All right, so WizIQ is a great way to record, which is uh, what I do a lot of the time. So let's get back into class get the hat off and uh, start the session. Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to today's session. And it's a thrill to see you, Guadalupe. Uh, we're going to go through the session as people come in. So uh, just let me know in the chat box if everything is good and if you can hear so that um, I can start. This is an active class, so um, it's really important for everyone to join and be here. Even though the recordings are just fine, there is nothing like the real thing. So great, good to see you. I had my funny hat on, I thought, I'd take it off because there would be a lot of people, but since you're here, what do you think of it? <laughs> All right, I put it in the recording for the um, the YouTube video that I'm uh, setting up for this class. Well, I looked, <laughs> it's gorgeous, thanks. I looked at the, uh, I don't usually wear hats because I find them uh, very ugly on me and beautiful on everybody else. In any case, I looked at your uh, PowerPoint presentation and I found it really exciting. I, I think it's really important to do the assignments, do the tasks, because that's how we learn. If we don't do, we're going to forget. And listening might be nice, you know, but uh, we don't get much out of it for very long. You know, it's a pleasure to listen and then we forget. And sustained learning is really important. Um, I think you were at the session yesterday and um, heard me talk about sustaining learning through videos. But that's not the only way. Um, doing anything. And that's what we should get our students to do. Students can just sit there and listen to us. So we have to get them doing things. And, and this is true for all ages, for youngsters and for the elderly who are dying to do things and um, not just be exposed to listening. So since this is a public class um, and um, currently there's only one participant, I'm going to go through it very quickly and then um, I'll be able to uh, give my time only to the participant who turned up. All right, so uh, first of all, this is about practicing on Google Drive. It's for Leo, Learn English Online. And in order to learn, as I said before, you need to be active and doing. And writing is one way of being active. Another way, of course, is to add images and create PowerPoint presentations and videos. So we're going to take a look at Google. Google Drive is a great way to share and collaborate with other participants in a social environment where everyone can have fun learning together because learning alone is often lonely and it may not be easy to do alone. All right, I'm going to try to screen share. It looks like I'm successful. I wasn't successful yesterday, but that's technology. Sometimes things work and sometimes they don't. I'm going to go into my Gmail account. I'm going to go into, you need a Gmail account for this in order to get the benefits of everything 
that Google has to offer, and it has a lot of things to offer. Okay, these are my documents. You can see I have quite a few. Some of them are public, some are private, where participants do not wish to share with the world. Now, this is not the only thing that Google offers. Google also offers Google, what's called Google Translate. And Google Translate is getting better and better because people are using it. And it's a smart technology system. Okay, so let's see if we can get Google Translate here. Google and not on my system. Okay, so it's not in the drive. It's actually on Google. So uh, in order to show you the different things, they're up here at the top. Images, Maps, Google Maps, you can play YouTube, News, Gmail, Drive, Calendar, and more. So if you go to more, you'll get different things including shopping, of course, and even more, you get different products. Now, one of my favorite is Google Scholar. Okay, Google Scholar offers you a chance to get scholarly articles. Okay, and you're able to decide how you want to find articles. You may want to find them by adding a word such as learn online, or two words, uh, with the exact phrase. Here it's all the words, and here it's the exact words. Remember, we're talking about learning online and the different ways of doing this, either alone or with somebody else. Here it's with the exact phrase. Now, where do you want to find the information? anywhere in the title okay so it depends on you if you know the author and so on so I'm gonna click on search but before I do that I want you to notice here it says my citations metrics alerts and settings you can set this up as well so we're gonna to go to learn online and then we get all this information from Google Scholar okay we're not with a Google Translate yet Okay, so here you are, and you can decide on the left here whether you want any time since 2013. You can go back as far as you want. You can sort things by date, which is how I prefer. Okay, I want to know what the recent one is. Notice 11 days ago somebody wrote on distributed online big data. I don't know if that's what I want. So maybe I should add Learn English online so I can have something more specific. I'm going to click on, here we are. Now if I look for the recent, here is something exciting. This is not in English. And this is where Google Translate comes in. I also have something else here from Australia. Now you look at the uh, link, you'll notice that it says EDU. If it says EDU, you know that it's from an academic institution. It could say ACEDU. If it doesn't, if it says COM, Dot com, it means that it might not be as valid as an EDU, but it's worthwhile reading. So always look at the endings, okay, so that you get an idea. Not everything is free on Google Scholar, but you can also find many free articles. Some are on university libraries or libraries, online libraries, academic libraries, where you have to pay. So let's take a look at this one that's not in English, okay, that I want translated, okay. I can also view this as HTML, and I'm going to do that. Okay, so what happens here is that I need this translated, 
and how do I here's the word learn English online okay Leo now this is how I find out sometimes that people are writing about me without my knowing it <laughs> so this could be something about me I can also look at citations how it was cited if I want to cite this in an article I can do this MLA or APA or Chicago I use APA for okay so this is how it's properly cited so I can add it as a reference to my writing I can also find <clears throat> excuse me three other versions okay so these are the same articles but notice they're in different places by the same authors so here if you look at the ending this is where it will appear at the end and apparently this was given at an international convention in May and here it's under proceedings so let's open it up and see what it's about this is a PDF file so you'll need to be able to read PDF files on your computer I don't always like to open PDF files okay now here notice it's in another language okay I'm not sure whether this is Turkish or what in order to be able to identify the language let me go back and I'm going to find it in another format okay this is not PDF here it is but I know that it's in a journal which would make it more academic okay so it's under philology and I still don't know the language so I may want to look at the abstract I'm going to copy it and add it to Google okay so let me find a place here I'm going to add it to going to write Google translate now if I don't know the language Google will be able to identify the language for me which is very very important I don't have to waste time trying to figure out what language it is okay so um, I'm going into the Google Translate now I'm gonna write it on the left even though see it says here detect language I don't know what language it is okay there it is and it's going to tell me I was right <laughs> it's Turkish okay I guess I've seen enough Turkish to be able to identify it even though I don't know Turkish now I can have this read to me listen now that doesn't sound Turkish does it because it's not it's Croatian okay it's Croatian it's not Turkish so what does it say Turkish here it says Turkish because that's the language it was translated into but actually it's Bosnian okay you've got Bosnian and I want to translate it into not Turkish not Danish not Maltese these are language that I used before I want to translate it into and I go here into English of course because I don't know those other I wish I did so there it is in English so it says the paper presents the method of manufacture of computer animation under the supervision of English teacher on informatics and computer engineering department of the Polytech Zagreb the project Leo within which develops interactive multimedia applications for learning English through the web project leader students I wonder if this has anything to do with me this paper explains the way in which they are made all right so it sounds interesting if I want this read in English because I'm not a native speaker of English here it is the paper presents the method of manufacture of computer animation under the supervision of English teacher on informatics and computer engineering department of the Polytechnic of Zagreb the project Leo learn English online within which develops interactive multimedia applications for learning English through the web project leaders students and a few professors an integral part of the application form Leo computer animation this paper explains the way in which they are made animations of application that explains the 
Meaning and use of English tenses. Okay, so the let's... The paper presents oops. the method of manufacture of computer All animation right. under the supervision of English. Teacher, oh. on informatics and computer engineering department of the Polytechnic of Zagreb, the project... It's going to continue talking, right? So I'm going to let it talk. Here is Leo. Learn English online. It's something that I developed. Uh, there are free courses. Uh, on this website, but we're going to try and figure out what this is all about. Okay, so uh, let's go back to class and um, take a look. Okay, so this is um, the article again. Notice here it is. Okay, and we want to open the article. Okay, fascinating. We want to read it, but we're going to have to have some kind of translation. So, um, we need to get the article only through the PDF because that's the only way to do it. Okay, so we're back in the PDF and um, let's take a look at the article. We can copy it all by going to edit, select all. Okay, uh, if that works. If not, we can simply go right through it and select it all and translate as we go. Okay, so this looks like a very interesting study, but you'll have to translate it part by part. So if we start with um, this part, for example, Okay, let's take, we need to copy it and then paste it in our Google Translate. However, there's some English as well. And that's how it's done. So now you know a little bit about Leo and uh, that there's a study done on Leo. So let's go back and see if there's anything else from previous years, let's say since 2009. Here, there's another one, Learn English Online 2011. So you can find out much more about Leo than maybe you realize through Google Scholar. There it is. And Google Translate if you want to translate it into your language. So you can translate all of this into your language or you can read it in English if it's in English. And if it's in another language, translate it the way I did for Croatian. Now let's go back a little bit to the class. Here we are. This is our class. I hope you were not... Oh, I see I've opened two, which means that this class is open somewhere else and I have to find it. Now this happens uh, when we have too many windows open, as I have in this case. And here we are. There it is. Class, and I'm back. All right, so I hope you were able to get everything again about Google Drive and Google Translate Google Scholar. Well, you need to choose a topic. That's what this session is about. It's about choosing a topic, and it doesn't have to be a grammar topic. Creating the document on Google Drive, and then the presentation by adding audio. And you can do this through Google Applications as well. We mentioned Google Translate, and then you can add everything to Google Videos. Now let's take a look at, again, Google Drive and see some of the features that you can add to Google Drive. Okay, I'm going to start a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to go into Create and then Presentation. Here it is. The way you did, in fact, I'm going to give it a title, and the title is What is Leo? Okay, what is Leo? That's uh, the title. Is that a good title? No, that's a good subtitle. So I'm going to use that for the subtitle. OK, 
Okay, so the subtitle is What is Leo? You've seen Leo's more than one thing. And the title is English Online. Okay, that's what I'm going to call it. Learn English Online, short for Leo. Oops, sorry. Short for Leo. Now, I want this to be a bit larger. There we are. So it's on one page. And then I might want to add a theme for the slide. So I go into slide. Under slide, I have all this information. This is good for learning English. It's also good for everybody so that they can learn how Google does it. Okay, now I'm going to go to the theme and decide on the theme. Now notice that some of these things have a cut in the middle. And you might not want to have it cut, you know, with lines everywhere. You might want to have it flat. So realize that these lines will limit you. Okay, so keep that in mind when you choose and see how it works. You could always change your mind as you go and see what works best for you. All right, so I don't know if that looks nice, but okay. Let's um, see, it went out. So let's put it back in and then maybe make this larger so I can have it on one line. Okay, and move it around. I may want to make it smaller so that it fits. Okay, so if I go to the size 72, you can play around. There's lots of things to do, as you can see. Um, changing the sizes so I can have it, I guess 60 is not enough. So maybe I can make it 48. Oh, definitely. You think so? You think I can get that in one line? Probably not. So let's make it 36. Will that work? Not yet. All right, so let's make this smaller because for some reason it got larger. So there's a lot of playing around. There we go. Now it's on one. I might want to put it in the middle. Notice where the middle goes. Now, if I want to put this in the middle here, I might want to open this up again and do it like this so it goes up in the middle. So a lot of things, and I think this is really healthy, by the way. I think they say that playing around with technology is great for the brain. It rejuvenates old cells, makes new ones, brain cells. So um, try it out. I need a title. Okay, so I'm going to call this Leo. Okay, and I'm going to put in brackets what is Leo, just to make sure that it's not another Leo. Okay, and then I can add new slides by going to insert. Now, when I go into insert, I can insert text, image, link, and video. I can also add links, of course, and new slides. I can also import slides from my system and from Google Drive. You see, all these are on Google Drive. I can import them, but I want to insert a video. Okay, where do I want to insert it? Well, I have to go into YouTube because that's the only video that you can insert. Notice I can either add the URL, which I don't know, or I can search, but I need to add something. What am I going to search for? So let me add Leo as my search. Okay, so I'm going to search and see what comes under Leo. Now notice Leo July 13 video scope. Ah, lots of Leos. Okay, Leo as a horoscope, but I want Leo to be learn English online. So you see, according to what I find, it seems that there are lots of Leos, and I want this one, the learn English online with Nelly, with myself, right? So I'm going to go and look for that, and there we are. Okay, there's one from July 23rd, 2012, June 19. See, it doesn't go according to order here, but I think I like the June 19 Learn Leo Online. So that's the one I'm going to select. Okay, and look where it's going to go. Smack in the middle. Do I want it there? Do I want it that size? I can the size, or I can get another, maybe raise this and lower that, or I can create a new video. And record myself. I can put it there, make this lower, play around, add the dates, it's up to you. 
All right, what I want to show you though is that you can present. So take a look at the top right. Click on present because this is how you're going to screen share and record yourself through Screencast-O-Matic. So let me click on that and look what happens. I click on this. Hello, I'm going to introduce you to Learn English Online. Learn English Online is all about not only learning English online, but doing all kinds of tasks. You're going to... Okay, so that's the idea. Now I want to minimize it. I'll go into ESC and click on that. And nothing happens. So notice here at the bottom, there's exit. Click on exit. No panic, you're back. Okay, so I can add comments and more importantly, notice the notifications. When I add comments, the notification comes up. So I can add comments or simply get this set up, the notifications. Notice I have it all so that when people respond, you get notified. How am I going to share this? Well, I like to make things public, but not completely public, anyone with a link, so that not everybody. Now, what do I want? I want people to view it, but I also want them to comment. So that's what I did. People can comment, and that's it. If I make it private, I have to share it with certain people and add their emails. All right, more about uh, the PowerPoint presentation in the tools. Notice research, and this is lovely. I clicked on tools and I got research. I showed you Google Scholar before. You can continue. Notice here, you can add words and get research on them. So English, on the English language, is a West Germanic language that was first spoken in early medieval England and is now the most widely used. We got a little bit of information from Wikipedia and other journals. Okay, this is Journal of Post-Colonial Writing, okay, which is scholarly in a sense. Okay, some uh, journals, you can also see lots of images. See, everything is here right there in front of you. You don't have to open another window. It's all here. All right, so again, let me close that. That's under Tools. Okay, so take a look at the top. You've got File. You can make new files. Another thing, you can download the PowerPoint presentation to your system as a PowerPoint presentation, PDF file, an image, different kinds of image, or plain text. You can publish to the web, you can email your collaborators if you've got any, you can print and preview a lot of things. You can also change the language. Notice, let's try Arabic. Okay, now it's ready for Arabic. Notice lots of uh, mistakes here. So let's uh, go back there. But you can also translate. Okay, so that shouldn't be a problem. Notice uh, what's at the top, transition. You can add transitions. Right now there are no transitions, but you can add them. You can make slide from right and left. You can make things flip. You can play. Okay, and see how it works. Notice it flipped. I can make it go faster. Okay, so you can have control over the speed of the flip. Okay, I can make it stop. Notice it's there, and if you um, download it to your computer, you will have the same animations. And this is going to improve because Google is really doing an awesome job in um, helping us learn. So let's go back to um, the download, the language, right? We're in Arabic. I want to go back to English. Okay, so let me change it to English. This is important if your system is in a certain language and you want to share it with me and I only understand English without Google Translate. With Google Translate, I understand every language possible on Google Translate. Okay, so notice the file. Next, notice the Edit button and what you can do here. 
Okay, next is view, and you've got different sizes, zoom, snap to grids. Try them out. You can view it in an HTML mode, and this is really important. Take a look at this. This is an HTML mode, and you can share the link this way. Okay, now let's go back. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Quite different from here. And then after we do the view, different viewing, we can go to inserting that I have showed you before. Slide, you can change the background. Not the theme. The theme means everything. The background is just one. The title, title of the body, you can break it up, change the layout of the slides. You can delete, duplicate, new slides. And here, format. Okay, you need to click on something to get the format. So let's say I want to click on this and the format opens. If I click on nothing, the format is hidden. So click, format wakes up. And the different things that you can add. Next, arrange. You can arrange the order, bring to the front. Let's say this image, I want to put something on something. Let's say I want to put this on this okay now you don't see what's in between so i go to arrange and then i click on this and i can put the order in front there it is you see it now it appears and the video is in the background so you can play around with this as you wish you can also hide you see right now it's hidden how do i make it come out Okay, you don't see because it was on white. I want to make it come out. I go to arrange and order. Bring to the front. Nothing. I go back because I'm stubborn. Bring forward. Nothing. Go back. Try again. Send back. Nothing. I keep doing it. I give up, right? So what's the problem? The problem is the color of the font. See, it's the same color. We need to change that to white. And then there it is. Okay, that's simple. All right, next. So if things don't work, don't give up. Research, we said define. You can have definitions. Now notice about define. I want to define things. I want to define everything. Here, English language, okay. Or I can go back and um, continue with the definition. So let's go to Tools and Define. And decide what you want to define. You want to define videos, scholar. There are different places to get your definitions. You can get videos on English. Learn English. Quotes. Let's take a sum of English language. Our products are more than just ebooks. Okay, so you get a lot of nonsense too. But it's up to you to read and choose. Okay, so um, that's tools. Next to that table, I can insert tables, and it's so much fun. But you can also remove. So let's say you want to insert a table, but you want to remove one of them. You click on the right, and then you can do different things. Delete the row, delete the column, delete the table, insert above. All these things work. Insert above. Now you've got two. Uh, let's say I want to insert below. Here's another one. Insert a column. Here's another column. I can insert the column on the left, right. I can delete rows. Okay, very easy. Delete table and it's gone. So that's in table. It's so easy for everyone. All right, help if you're stuck. You've got a community. Report abuse if somebody bothers you and so on. Notice the transition. Theme, layout, background are at the bottom. And that's it. So I'm looking forward to seeing how your presentations develop. And now let's go back to the class, wherever it is. Okay, I'm not sure. It should be under presentation. Here we are. We're back. All right, so far, are there any questions? Guadalupe, let me give you the mic. So, and Jean is here too. Jean, do you have a mic? I don't know when you came in, but you'll be able to see this on YouTube and recorded. Now, I'm going to move your names in case you don't want to be 
have seen in the video. There we go. So Guadalupe, I, uh, I believe I gave you Mike, but I don't see it. It's going round and round. Hello, Jean. So I'm going to give you uh, writing tools so you can have a chance to write and on the whiteboard. Okay, so Guadalupe, I'm trying to... Uh, hello, Jeeb. Okay, so here is a whiteboard where you can write. And I'm going to keep trying. This is a hands-on workshop, but um, I've been doing a lot of the talking because uh, our participant, Guadalupe, has done the, some of the work. Um, I'm sure she'll be able to uh, do more. But I don't hear you right now. I'll see what's going on with your mic. For those interested, since I'm not screen sharing anymore, it looks like uh, it stopped screen sharing for some reason. Uh, let me see um, if it's perhaps still on and what is going on. Okay. So maybe it stopped at some point. Okay, so let's go back to the other PowerPoint. And this is speaking. A lot of people are afraid to speak, especially in front of a large audience. But even a small audience is difficult for many. The only way to overcome it is by practicing writing your speeches and speaking online with a microphone, not in front of people, but by yourself on your computer. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to choose topics. And here are the topics. I will add this to the class, even though I think it's there, to Leo, so you can choose a topic. If you want to choose another topic that's not on the list, you may do so. So it's up to you to choose a topic that interests you. When you write a topic, you will create a table. And I showed before how to go to Google Drive and you need a Gmail account. And you go into Google Drive and create a Word document. Here is the Word document and a table. The table will have four columns. You're going to call it My Project, KWHL chart for my topic, and you're going to write No in one column, Want, How, and Learn. Then you'll write what you know about the topic of your choice, what you want to know, how you will get the information, and then eventually what you learned. Once you do that, you will create another document, write your topic and the purpose. Once you decide on a topic, what is the purpose in your writing and later speaking about this topic? Now, I showed before, but in case you missed it, here is how you do it. You go to Google Drive. On the top left, you add, create a new document, a Word document. Number one, you give it a title. Number two, you write your speech on the topic. The title will be your topic. Now let's see if I can go back there and screen share once again to demonstrate how this is done. Okay, so here I go again. All right, so I'm going to go into my Gmail account. See, I'm right here. I'm going to go into my Drive, which is just above. And then, these are my documents. I'm sure nobody has as many as I do. But you go into the top left. It says Create. You click on Create, and a window opens. It says Folder, Document, Presentation spreadsheet form and drawing. You're going to start with a document because you want the KWHL chart. Okay, you're going to give it a title and I'm going to call it 
KWHL for my topic. Now you don't know what you're going to write. You're going to try different things. Okay. So I'm going to go into the table, click on table, insert. Remember four columns. And I think that's enough. Okay. So I'm going to give it a title. We're calling it KWHL. I'll put that in the middle. Notice here, center. There it is for my, oops, for my topic. I could put capital letters right through here. All right. And then I might leave a line, a space. It's up to me. First thing is K, then W, then H, and then L. All right. And then I'm going to write no what I want to know how I'm going to get the information and what did I learn? Okay. So I can write the questions. What do I know? What do I know about what's your topic? One, two, three, you can fill that in. What do I want to know? What do I want to know about one, two, three, you add it. How will I learn? about one, two, three, you add it. And then what did, because you have to know something. Okay. What did I learn about one, two, three? Okay. So I'm going to add another column by clicking on the right of the mouse. I will insert row below. I will insert another row below. Now I'm going to share this at the top right with you. So you can do this right now and then you can do your own later on. So I'll change this to anyone with the link can edit. You're going to edit this, but I'm going to make sure that you can not take me off. So only the owner can change permissions. There we go. So let me share the link with you and you can get started right now. So let's go back into class. Here we are. And I'm not going to stop sharing. I'm going to add the link to, you will be able to see it, Guadalupe. You'll be able to see everything in the recording as well as in the YouTube video. So I apologize, but there's always a backup. All right. So there's the link for both you and Jeeb. Okay. You can go in there and see what you will create. But in the meantime, you can think of a topic that you'd like to work on and fill in the chart. You need to have a Gmail account later on. Right now, you don't need to have anything. You can go in as anonymous. All right. So once you do that, okay, once you fill it in, uh, we'll talk about different kinds of speeches that you will be making. Okay. This is available, of course, in Leo. You can also use someone else's voice by using slide speech. Okay. We'll talk more about that next time. So in the meantime, I suggest you go in and fill in the form. So I'm going to go in and see if you've done that. Okay. And I see Precha's here too. Welcome Precha. You're also invited. I've given everyone and Alman is here too. Welcome. I don't know how much you missed. In any case, please, I'm going to get a whiteboard so you can ask questions. Okay. Right here uh, by going into A. Okay. If you go into A, you don't have to do free writing. You can simply, there we go. There's the arrow to a click on a, don't be afraid. And you can use the writing to be able to write. Okay. This is for questions, but I'd like you to go. I added, let me make sure that you have it again. Okay. So everybody has rights. That's good. Here is the uh, chat. There's the link. Use the link. Go there. 
You don't need to have a Gmail account for now. Okay, let's take a look at that and see what's going on. Um, I'm going to try and give Guadalupe voice once again and see if that works. You should have a headset. If uh, you'd like to try your microphone, let me know. See if that works. And let's go to the KWHL and see if you're here. I see someone is here. You see you're anonymous. You don't need to have... If you could just let me make another row. Okay, I'm going to add a row below and another one because there are four people. Okay, so you can take one and choose the topic. Okay, the list of topics, any topic, anything that interests you. If you're a teacher or a student or someone who's just interested in a certain topic and you'd like to learn more, this is how it's done. You will become an expert and be able to speak, but first write about your topic. We're going to take this one step at a time. Okay, so even if this is your first time, you will be able to manage. Okay, so I see one person. Um, let's see if we can get the others to join. Okay, there's the whiteboard. You can write on it, ask questions. Okay, so Alman, Jeeb, and everybody, please add the link. Just click on it and go there. Okay, click on the link and go there. Don't be afraid. Once you're there, you can also ask questions there under comments. The comments is at the top right hand side of the page. Okay, so please try that. Okay, so I'm going to go there. I'm going to screen share. Oh, it says something happened. Let me try again. Okay, I'm going to screen share. And I'll be able to see you right there. Okay, so you'll see this in the recordings if you don't see it now. Okay, so I'm going to the KWHL. Oh, very good. Now I see all three of you here. Great. All right, so choose one column. I hope you can hear me. Choose one column. Let's say if we, I'll put another one here with numbers. Okay, I'm going to add another column on the left where I'm going to write numbers to make it easier for you. Okay, so this will be number one, number two, number three, and number four for now. Okay, so if you can write uh, your name. Okay, you see anybody can use it right now. You don't need to have an email account, a uh, Gmail account. So I see chipmunk is a number one. I'm going to use number four. Okay, so I'm going to write my name. Just my first name is enough. Uh, I don't read it to know my name, actually. It's enough for me to just write the topic. Let's see, the topic I'd like to choose is um, eating. I don't know why. Eating. Okay. What do I know about eating? Well, I know a lot about eating. Okay, I know that eating can be both... I don't have to write sentences, healthy and not, depending, depending on what and how and when you eat, right? Okay, and when you eat, that's what I know about eating. I know that um, some food tastes good and some does not. I know that it's, it's fun. It could be fun, fun when you're hungry. It's not fun when you're not hungry. 
you could eat in different places. I can go on and on and on. And then what do I want to know? I want to know how long can people survive without eating? That's what I'd like to know. How long people can survive without eating? I heard that it's for days. Not without water, but without eating food. Okay, so not drinking without eating food. That's something I'd like to know. How am I going to find the information? I'm going to search for it on Google. Google search. Okay, that's, that's how easy it is. So I'm going, my topic is going to be eating. Now it's a very general topic. I may want to um, be more specific later on. Oh, I see somebody else joined us. Let's see. We've got four people. So I need to add another row. Okay, there I added another row. Call it number four, and this will be number five. Okay, because I'm in as me, so I know the four others. And, and I guess um, they were in the class. So let me go back to class and see who's... Oh, that's everybody. Okay. So, I'm back in class. I see that you're shy, which is fine. You can work on this later on. If you could just um, join the whiteboard and share if you have any questions. And if you have a microphone, raise your hand and I'll pass it on to you. So, if you'd like to speak, let me know. And I'll pass on the mic. So everybody's there. I saw you. So how are you managing? Maybe you'd like a list of topics. Okay, so let's go back to the list of topics to make it easier for you. And see if we can find the list of topics. Okay, here is the list. Okay, these are the topics that you can choose. Notice abortion, AIDS, airbags, air pollution, alcohol, alcoholism, anorexia, bulimia, campus. This is what students like to write about. Campus reorganization, campus safety, capital punishment, censorship. Lots of topics. Graduation, gun control, handicap, organ transplants, polygraphs, President Bill Clinton, I don't know if you want to remember. Recycling, save the seals, school violence, seat belts, self-defense, sports, world hunger. Okay, lots of topics to choose from, but choose something that interests you. Don't choose a topic where there's a lot of information if you don't care about it. Okay, uh, let's go on to the next slide. The next slide has information about where to find and create a presentation on Google Drive. Okay, so I hope you're back. If you can come back, okay, come back to class if you're still on the Google document. You can continue later. Okay, so come back. You probably hear my voice. Come back to class so you can see this. Of course, you can see it in the recordings. Okay, this is how you create a PowerPoint presentation because after you create a topic, you will create your presentation and write notes so that you can speak or you can use slide speech. Okay, you're going to choose a theme from these, and I've shown this before. If you miss the um, screen sharing, that's exactly what I showed. So I'm showing it again in class on the whiteboard. Okay, this is how it's done.
Notice your notifications are very important because that's how you know if somebody has responded, like I, I will be responding. And Guadalupe, I responded to your PowerPoint presentation already. This is what you do. You click on enable email notifications so that you will be able to be notified in your Gmail that someone has added information to your Google Drive document, whether it's a presentation or a Word document. This is how you share. Okay, and Guadalupe has shared it in the Leo classroom. Thank you. Okay, you can make it private or you can change it. It's up to you. If you make it private, people will ask to get permission to open it. Otherwise, if you make it, anyone can get the link or public, anyone will be able to open it. But not everybody will be able to edit. Only you will decide if you want them to edit or not. You may want them to only add comments or to view it. So it's up to you. Okay, and this I showed you also in the screen sharing that you were not able to see perhaps. Okay, edit is where you create, insert. You can import slides from your computer. You can also change the background, add art. Okay, so you go into the insert and you have lots of power. So I'd like to thank you. Okay, that is actually the end of the class and this is called collaborative project-based learning. It's based on research that shows that learning together through doing and creating projects is a good way to learn. Okay, so um, that's what you're doing and I wish you the best. Okay, so for those of you who would like to um, continue learning on Leo, okay, make sure that you go into the course feed to ask questions and that you get the slides and the live classes on the course where. Okay, the courseware is where you get the live classes and all this is on the left of the course called Leo. Are there any questions? Okay, please let me know if there are any questions. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining. And I'm looking forward because this is just the beginning. Okay. The rest is your work. Okay. So if you have any questions and you can't get hold of me, just email me at nellydeutsch at gmail.com and I will help. All right. So thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful uh, week. Bye for now.